Chapter 2 Gift of Ganglary Wow, that actually looks crazy. It looks like hell. <laughs> it looks terrifying and not at all approachable because it's so deep underground and uh, those background lights almost make it look like there are flames burning behind. It looks terrifying, to be honest. His armor actually looks like uh, Ganondorf. I see you made it here safely, Phoenix. Yes, father. Long have I wished to see you and visit Castle Krakenberg again. I feel like I'm dreaming. No. It's only thanks to your diligence that you're here. I'm told that you're now a warrior almost on par with Xander. You finally possess the strength to be an instrument of Norse power in the world. But father, will he be alright outside the fortress? I worry about that as well. Isn't it dangerous for Phoenix to live outside the fortress's magical barrier? I appreciate your concern, but I earned my way here and I'm ready to fight. Phoenix, as you know, Nar is at war with the Eastern Kingdom of Hoshido. Yes. yes, father, I've heard as much. Hmm. We of the royal family are descendants of the ancient gods, the first dragons. As inheritors of the divine strength, we conquer those who oppose us with ease. One who learns to wield that power can destroy an entire army of common troops. Xander, Camilla, Leo have already shown they possess this power. I expect no less from you. Yes. I'm aware of your expectations, father. And I've trained every day to become more like my siblings. Hmm, you should promise, but you will need a suitable weapon in order to serve Nar. Wow, that blade looks pretty evil. This is Ganglary, a sword infused with magic from another world. With the sword at your side, you will crush the Hoshidan army with ease. Thank you. Thank you for this generous gift, father. Now let us see you put that sword into its proper use. Bring out the prisoners. Prisoners? Damn. Listen well. These are prisoners from our most recent skirmish with Hoshido. I want to see your power with my own eyes. Use the sword to strike them down. Alright, so uh, looks like we gotta defeat them. Allow me to I shall join you as well, my lord. My lance arm is perhaps rusty but still serviceable. Felicia, will you join as well? Yes. Of course, I'm as much a bodyguard as a domestic after all. To be honest, I was never that great at domestic stuff anyway. So looks like she can fight as well. I'm Ringa, daughter of the Flame Tribes on Rebel Chief Tain. Alright, what is your name, Norian Prince? Um, I'm Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix, can it be? Have you heard of me? Hmm. I'm Kaze, a ninja of Hoshido. I, I like Kaze, he looks really awesome. Show me what you can do. Do it. Kill them all. Well, that's not polite. Alright, so here we have a dragon wing. Oh. I guess we can use this. Yeah. Alright, so here we have Gunter now. In every Fire Emblem game, you are given a kind of very OP unit. And uh, usually in most Fire Emblem games, it's a Paladin. But in Awakening, it was a Great Knight known as Frederick. And in this game, it is Gunter, who is also Great Knight, I guess. Uh, yeah, he is Great Knight. So, these OP units are really strong and they are pre-promoted. So, that means they can just strike down enemies at one shot and uh, they can eat up all of your experience so you should make sure that you do not use them too much and not use them to solo maps because they will essentially eat all of your experience and other units of your army will be essentially very weak and uh, that's why you should only use them whenever you need so I'm not gonna be using him too much for that reason and uh, I guess I can move him up here 
And Felicia can move here. Alright, so they're moving in. I guess uh, they're surrounding us. Only four enemies. That's nothing. You see. So here is Weapons Triangle shown on the bottom screen. And, uh, yeah. So we do have to keep them in mind. And uh, I'm going to move myself here to block Felicia. And I'll be moving her here, I guess, so that I can gain the support. And Gunter will be blocking this wall. I guess I cannot pair up uh, units as of yet. So there is Kazi. And he's gonna be using Brass Shuriken. That did absolutely no damage. So, like I said, these units are really OP, and this guy is, is gonna die for sure. That one damage. That was like a tickle. And he's dead. Rip. So he's dead. And it did zero damage. Wow. So here we have another level up. Nice. She's gonna move in and attack me as well. Behold the might of Flame Tribe. That did one damage. And. Wow, Felicia is actually pretty weak. I'm actually gonna use uh, Felicia to heal myself, even though I I will be gaining like laughable amount of HP, but still Felicia will be gaining some experience, so I'll be using heal on uh, on myself, and uh, I think I need to disable other animations. I don't really like them that much, and um, we'll be attacking her. Actually, yeah, we'll be attacking her. And that's the end of her. Narian's gone. And we gained a lot of HP because that was a boss. And uh, Gunter will be staying here, blocking this wall so that uh, Kaze cannot attack Felicia. And we'll be ending this turn. He's gonna attack Gunter once again with the Shuriken. And it's gonna tickle him. And now I'll be finishing off. Actually, uh, we'll be moving Gunter here. And we'll be moving Felicia here. Actually, is this right? Yeah, I guess it is right. Even if Kaze gets to attack Felicia, it's not like she's gonna die. Added no damage. I think I should have picked hard mode. Um, I'm already regretting my decision. I'm not sure because uh, I was thinking that because birthright is so like easy. I should have picked hard version. Maybe I don't know. But uh, yeah, I will be moving Felicia here. Actually, I'll be moving her here. And uh, this will be able to finish off Kazi. And he's done. I regret nothing. Alright. And we gain another level up because there were two bosses on this map. This is my chance. So this is how it ends. They are really tough, aren't they? I hope all Hushidens aren't this strong. Don't just stand there, idiot boy. Finish them. 
But father, they're beaten. You want me to execute helpless prisoners? What? You dare to question me? I order you to kill them. No. Insolent fool. I won't argue the point any further. Damn, he's really like stubborn. Gods. Hmm? Phoenix, what are you? Unbelievable. You would defy me directly, Phoenix? Father, please forgive him. He does not yet understand our situation. Fine, Xander, you kill them. And if anyone gets in your way, kill them too. No. Do it, kill them all! Why is he like so thirsty for killing them? Stand down, Phoenix. If you don't, I will be forced to. No, Xander, I won't let you do this. <laughs> really? A slice? Why do you refuse, Phoenix? You know the Hoshidans are our sworn enemies. I know, but this is different. These people cannot fight anymore. Why not show mercy? Please, Phoenix, don't fight him, my dear sweet Phoenix. Oh my god, I cannot help but laugh whenever, like, Camilla speaks. Why does this fall to me? Wow, that was like a, some kind of grass magic. I saw some like branches. Father, I have dispatched our enemies on behalf of my brother. Hmm. I only ask that you would be merciful in your punishment of him. Enough. Enough. I will consider the matter later. I don't like this guy at all. Leo, Leo how could you? They were beaten. There was no reason to execute them. I agree, now hush. Leo, did you? Hey. Enough, both of you, the battle is over. Mark my words, Phoenix. One day, an act of kindness may be the death of you. Yeah. Perhaps, but if I'm kind, I will die without regrets. I Damn, do. well said. Guard, I would like to examine prisoners' belongings. Bring their remains to my quarters. <gasps> Leo, your spell was only yeah. enough to weaken them, yes. I should have followed father's orders. But Camilla and Elise always make such a fuss when I do anything to upset you. So I guess he teleported them. Thank you, Thank you Leo. I'm sorry for teasing you about your collar. You can repay me by not mentioning it again. That was great, brother. It was, but I doubt this will be the last we hear of this. Father never forgets a slight. Yeah, I'm not sure how they were able to fool King Garen that easily. Like, wouldn't he be able to identify the spell? Like, it's kind of some kind of rescue spell? Or capture spell? I don't know. Listen, Listen well, it is only my brother's kind heart that has bought your freedom. Disappear now, lest you be spotted by our king. Kazi just ran off. He wasn't wasting a second. I'm not a hostage to be freed. You said your name is Phoenix. When next we meet, I will make you pay for this humiliation. What kind of humiliation? I was hoping the next time we meet, it could be as friends. What? I'm Hoshin Warrior. You do not understand what you suggest. Yeah. I understand that, that right now Hoshido and Nar are at war, but I'm trying to make a plan ahead for the day. The day war is over and we can live in peace. That's a good plan, I can respect that. Yeah. I've heard rumors of sheltered Norian prince who knows nothing about the world. I see those rumors are true. If we do meet again, the world will have no doubt taught you the error of your ways. Damn, she's so rude. I like Kazi, he just ran off. He didn't speak a word, he just ran off. Didn't waste a minute. So that's gonna be chapter 2. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And um, thank you all so much for your support. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and have a great day.